hello 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 and welcome back i hope you're having a wonderful day so i'm assuming you have literally just jumped over from my Xi'an haul video and now you're here for the nail set um so if you haven't watched that video i will just link it up in the cards over here um but basically i just done a Xi'an uh haul video and now i'm doing the nail set because the video was going to be too long so what we're going to do today i haven't even decided what i want to do yet i'm just going to literally wing it <laughs> so i bought a lot of goodies off of um Shein. so what i'm going to do today hold on a second i said today what i'm going to do in this video today uh this video this video today whatever anyway <laughs> um i'm actually going to do a nail set using model one's a poly gel kit because they sent this to me in pr along with their well, no, this actually come a couple of days after their um, acrylic kit come to me. Um, but this was uh, sent to me by Model Ones for free. So thank you, Model Ones, for sending me this. I do really appreciate it. But anyway, what we're going to do today is I'm going to make a, a design using this poly gel kit and using uh, Shein nail, um, nail art to create a nail set. Um, I was going to do a, a Shein nail set only, but they don't sell like any builder stuff, like any gels or acrylics or anything like that. Uh, they do have like press on nails, but I wanted to do a poly gel set or an acrylic set with the, with the, um, the pieces. <laughs> so, uh, I thought let's just do a poly gel kit instead. So it does come in this cute little box, by the way, sorry, this cute little box. I, I love it. It's very small and dainty. And then the actual, I love the packaging. I love that. That's so cool. So it says we communicate the world with colors. Okay. That's, that's a different saying, but I like it. It's sound okay. You know, you do you. I don't mind. Uh, so the first thing, <laughs> sorry, that sounded really bad. I didn't mean like that. So the first thing that we got here is a little uh, instruction booklet and it gives you tips how to pre prepare, pre pre how to prepare your nails, how to apply, how to remove, and then some customer service details. Um, every kit should have these. Always read the instructions. Uh, if you don't know anything about that brand, it's very good to use. I'm just gonna stick that over the side here. So the first thing we've got here is some dual forms. So we have some straight ones and these are the more straight. Um, and I think these ones are longer, uh, but these are the more straight dual forms. As you can see, they are not so curved. Um, and yeah, uh, they just, they are what they are. <laughs> uh, and then of course we have another set and this one here is the curved jewel form so these are more rounded i'm just going to grab one out so as you can see these are much more rounded um and more curved i don't particularly like the curve on the nails i like my nails to be pretty straight and standard um but yeah these are the other jewel forms so you get the two jewel forms depending on what variety you like it's completely up to you it's your choice of course so the next thing that we have is some little bits um of what are they called these are nail art i literally just done a video on it why am i why am i spacing about nail art i don't know um <laughs> i literally just recorded the other video so now i'm just jumping into this one so we have some like iridescent sorts of glitter this is a very pretty glitter i do like this so some iridescent glitter which is like blue and pink and purple shift violet shift with some white and then they also give you some purple flat back rhinestones i will take the lid off now once i can uh, manage to open it there we go so there is a different variety of sizes oh some of them aren't uh purple they're iridescent so you have like some teardrops and some iridescent flat back crystals uh, there's a mixture of the two in here, but th those are literally the sizes. I can't see any other sizes. So, yeah, but I still like that. That's pretty cool. I like that they added that little extra touch in this tiny little kit. It's a very cute kit. And, yeah, I can't believe that everything fitted in here. Wow. I love when they do little packages. Do you know what I mean? So the next thing you have is your poly gel a brush, which is your, what we call it here, is a spear javelin tool, um, where you have the spatula on one end and then the poly gel 
brush on the other. This is meant to be on there. Always check your cap because you could ruin the bristles if that was stuck up there and I just shoved it back on. Could ruin my bristles. Um, but yeah, standard poly gel brush. It is, you know, I. It's it's a poly gel brush. Yeah. <coughs> Then we have a 100 to 180 grit file. I do like Model 1's files. First of all, their shape, and they are really sturdy, good files. Um, so, yeah, if you ever want to pick up nail files, Model 1's, I yeah, I would suggest them. I do like their nail files. We get a little bottle of slip solution, which is hard to come by in most poly gel kits now, I might add. So, slip solution is to move the poly gel around to make sure it prevents it from sticking to your brush. Um... I know people do use base coat. Uh, I don't recommend base coat because slip solution is used to clean up your poly gel and to move your poly gel around. And if you get that on your skin, like your your beetle, uh, your beetles, your um, your base coat, you can't put that on your skin. It's up to you. You know, you do you. I don't mind. You know, obviously I don't mind. But like everyone's preference is their own. But I would always recommend slip solution i know some people do use acetone don't use acetone because acetone breaks down your nails okay okay <laughs> so then we also have in here uh we'll look at those in a second <laughs> you do get a little mini lamp which i love that they've done this we will look at the little mini lamp in a second though and you also get your top and your base coat and i like their new little like queen bee sort of um the logo i do like that um yeah it's uh great and i do like model one's top and base coat for the reason that their brushes are so nice um here we go they're thick but very firm and um, I don't know they just it just fits so nicely on the nail um, the smell there's no smell unless you stick your nose right in so no chemical gel smell um, so yeah very happy with that so let's move this box and let's have a look at the little mini lamp so this little mini lamp I've actually got one stud here it's a bit dusty don't judge me it's a little bit dusty um, so essentially it comes packaged like this, but it looks like this when it's all set up. Um, and there's a little button here on the back that you just press and it does a 60 or 90 second timer. I can't quite remember. Um, but I do love these little mini lamps and there's quite a lot of uh, heat. I can feel the heat coming off of it. Um, it also has extendable legs so yeah but you can also close up the legs and as you can see there's still holes so you can literally just hold it like this you don't have to stand it and i don't know why i'm doing that you're not going to cure you now uh you can stand it like that um but these little mini lamps as great as they are i always will recommend a large lamp a 60 uh, not a 60 a 48 plus watt uv led lamp i will always suggest that uh, so anyway, that is the nail lamp, but like I said, it comes all packaged in this little box. Um, I've never had any of these other colours. I've always only had pink and white. I've never had blue or green. Do they even do blue or green? I don't know. L someone let me know if you've had a Model 1's lamp. Let me know if you've had the blue or green, because I've never had it. I'd like a blue for a change. So the next and final last thing, but not least, is the poly gel itself in the kit. So this is the soft pink poly gel kit, I believe. Um, they are 30 milliliters each, and this one is soft pink, it's O2. They all come sealed, as you can see. I will also show you the 30 grams so you can see. Uh, so they're the bigger tubes, and they, like I said, they all come sealed. Excuse that cut, by the way. I don't know where I got that from. I woke up, like, yesterday and it was just there <laughs> and i was like how did i get that there where did that even come from i must have done it in my sleep i don't know this is really hard to get off oh come on there we go uh so the first color is soft pink and it is a soft pink yeah definitely soft pink as you can see um I'm going to try and squeeze that back into the bottle. I do like that pink. That's a very pretty pink. So I'm just going to sit that to the side because it's just not going in. And then the last one is 0005 and it is a clear. Um, model 1's clear is... 
it's not the clearest, we'll be honest, but it's also not a bad clear. Um, I've used it before and many times before, actually. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, definitely a nice little um, clear. Oh, and there we go. There is the clear there. So you can see it is pretty clear, um, but it's not on a nail yet. So I will show you on a nail. So I was thinking of just doing a simple ombre set today. Um, add some glitter, add some rhinestones. And I was thinking of using one of the, um, what are they called? I literally just showed them. The, the foils, I was thinking of using them in this set. So I'm going to um, go and like uh, prep, not prep my nails because I'm not going to prep my nails properly, um, but I am going to um, stick some peel off base coat on and think up of a, of a design and then I will be back with you guys. But it will be like in a second for you, so don't worry. Um, maybe grab a cup of tea because I don't know how long this video is gonna be. But anyway, I will speak to you guys in a second. And I'm back beauties, hello. So I um, literally recorded the first part of this video this morning and now I'm finally sitting down to finish off editing and recording the voiceover for the second half of the video, the actual nail half. Um, so it's gonna go up a little bit late. It's still Sunday, I'm still gonna put this up, but it's gonna be a bit late. I don't use these stickers by the way in the end, but um, I did prep my nails off camera. Well, I say prep, I literally just stuck on some peel off base coat, but I will leave a video in the cards of um, how to prep your nails if you need to. Uh, just go check it out. It's like a two minute video. It's really quick and easy and simple to follow. And it saves you listening to like a long version of it. But anyway, I signed, uh, I sized, I sized up my tips, and now I'm just sticking them down with some glue, um, making sure they are straight. This finger here, for some, I mention this all the time, but my ring finger and my middle finger are crooked. They like bow inwards. They're like a cowboy without a horse. Um, <laughs> so. Uh, you're meant to actually glue the nails on so they're straight, but gosh, I always mess up and they're always a little bit wonky, but you know what? You can't even tell. It's just because my finger's wonky. <laughs> so once I'd glued on the tips and the glue was dry, I went in them and covered uh, the full nail with some base coat. Um, you should file the shine away from the nail tip as well as your natural nail, but I didn't here. Uh, it didn't affect anything, so, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, but I would recommend filing away the shine. I just, I forgot to, and then I was halfway through and I was like, you know what, I don't care. <laughs> so anyway, I stuck my hand in the nail lamp then to cure for a full 60 seconds. And once I was done, I then popped a little hole here in my slip solution bottle, poured some slip solution into the lid here. I go off camera a little bit, ignore the fact that I just go off camera. Uh, so anyway, I poured that into the a uh, little lid here. I wet in my brush just to make sure the bristles are wet and ready to go. Stick the lid back on so that, you know, protect the bristles. And then I grab my McCart foil glue. And I couldn't decide which uh, foils I wanted to use. I wanted to use these, uh, the, the, what are they called, rhinestones, uh, the purple ones. And I wanted to use this uh, unicorn kit of uh, foils but I could not decide but in the end I did decide to use this one here and I think it went really well. Uh, I also used the glitter from the Model 1's Polygel kit uh, so uh, yeah I, I didn't use too much of it I just used a little bit just to like give it a bit of a glitter around the unicorns and stuff on the nails. So anyway I just painted my tip with the foil glue. I cured for 60 seconds. It has to be 60 seconds with McCart's foil glue uh you have to cure for a full 60 uh, so make sure that it's it's like tacky because it that's what it does it gives it this tacky layer then i just stuck the foil on as you just seen i rubbed down really hard made sure that it was stuck down to all of the areas on the nail and then i moved on to the next couple of nails so i done my thumb first and i'm doing my other four fingers i always do this with my thumb being the odd one out because um your thumb sits at an angle in the light and sometimes it doesn't get completely cured. I overdid it with the gel, the gel there, so that's why there's a drip. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I find that uh, if you, because you, your thumb's like on the side, sometimes it doesn't get a full cure, so I make sure that I concentrate on just my thumb. So now, once I'd cured again for a full 60 seconds, I made sure to keep that foil away from the other nails and I stuck it down and then I pulled it off. Um, this foil glue is great. 
Um, I've always used this foil glue. I don't like air drying ones. I don't know, I'm impatient. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'd uh, recommend McCart's foil glue. You can also get 15% off with McCart's foil glue if you do decide to buy it off of their sites. Thus, any site from the UK one to the USA one to Australia to Europe. Uh, I think there's one more and I'm missing it. I can't think. Canada. There's the other ones in Canada. Um, so yeah, they, they're like global now. I think that's great. Uh, but anyhow, once I was done with the foil, I then went in with some base coat again. I painted over the nails and then I cured once more for 60 seconds. Basically, I wanted to use the base coat to encapsulate and keep the design of the foils on my nails. Um, because I know for I know that if you use... If you do this method and you use acrylic, make sure you put a protective layer of base coat or something over the top of these nails, uh, this uh, design, because the um, the foil will move with the mortimer, it kind of like smears and like, it's kind of like putting acetone on gel polish, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, just be wary of that if you want to use acrylic to do this method. I would suggest using some sort of barrier. So before I cured, I just grabbed on uh, one of my uh, lining tools, uh, striper tools, what, what are these called? Liner brushes, why did I, I spaced on what they were called then. Um, I dipped it into the base coat and then I just stuck some glitter randomly all over the nails. As you can see, I'm not going overboard. I wanted to give it a bit of glitter, but I didn't want to overpower it. Um, so yeah. And then once I was done with this, then I did cure for a full 60 seconds. And then we went in with the poly gel. And I decided to do all the names, names all the nails the same today. Uh, just using that soft pink colour from the Model 1's kit. Um, I just put a bead onto the cuticle area, the, the nail bed area. And then I just used my slip solution and I patted it down. I only show you three nails because I thought if I show you all five, it's going to be a bit OTT. Uh, so, like it's the same thing over and over and over again. So I show you for three nails. It's my thumb, my index finger, and my middle finger. Um, and then what I do is I make sure to look at it from every angle and tidy up the sides before curing uh, for a full sixty seconds. Uh, this poly gel, I do love Model One's poly gel, right? And I do love Model One's poly gel kits for beginners. I think they do really good beginner kits. Uh, Model Ones and Macart are very high up together um, just for those reasons alone. Uh, but Model Ones poly gel is really nice to work with. It's not as stiff as, Mo as Macart, but it's also not as runny as like Savvy Land or Beatles poly gel. Uh, it's like that nice like in between, which I absolutely love. Um, so yeah, uh, I definitely would recommend, uh, Model 1's poly gel. It doesn't stick to my brush or anything. As you can see, I'm hardly moving my hand away from the camera to dip my brush. I think I dump it, dip it once or twice, uh, for each nail. I dip it now here to make sure that I'm, uh, I've cleaned up and I can spread the ombre across the nail here. So what I do when I do ombre with poly gel, I put the bead onto the cuticle, uh, the nail bed area, sorry. <laughs> then I wick it into the cuticle. And once I'm happy with that, then I make sure to make it all go from sidewall to sidewall and slowly pull it up. And I thin it as I go, still creating an apex. And then I pull it back on itself so it creates that like uh, blended fade colour, uh, colour, blended fade. I hope that makes sense. The further you go down the nail and the thinner you work with the poly gel, the um, harder you would press. Not too hard, but the more force, more firm you are with the poly gel as you go down the nail. I hope that makes sense. I'm terrible at explaining stuff, I know. Uh, but bear with me, guys. <laughs> so anyway, once I was done with all of these nails, I then went in with some clear and I encapsulated. And Model 1s have definitely changed their formula from when I last used them their clear poly gel. It is very clear, in my opinion. But it's also a little runnier. But it's not a bad runny. It's, I don't know... It's just, um, it's definitely a different formula, but I'm not mad at it. And it definitely was clearer, so that's a plus. Um, but anyway, I'm going to put some music on here, and I'm going to let you guys watch the video. When I come back then, we will talk about the filing. Uh, if you, I'm, filing's pretty simple. I won't come back for filing. I will come back when we start to put the decorations and stuff on. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Mm -hmm. 
I'm back guys, hello. So once I'd finished uh, wiping away the sticky tacky layer, then filing, then wiping away all the dust, I then grabbed these uh, beads that I got off of Shein. I will link that video in the cards. I think I said that earlier on the beginning of the video. Uh, but I'd done a Shein haul video and I'm trying to use as many decorations from that haul as I can. Uh, but anywho, once I was finished, I then poured some of them into like this little dish thing and I'm just going in with some top coat and I'm going to use my crystal katana tool to stick the uh, rhinestones down onto the nail. This works, you can also use uh, nail glue, you can use uh, rhinestone gel glue, uh, my favourite is McCart, I will highly praise that all the time. Um, and then of course you can use top coat. Uh, so yeah, I just stick the uh, beads down, the, the rhinestones down, uh, make sure they're straight and then I cure in my nail lamp then for a full 60 seconds. Um, I do the same for every single nail, I add some cuticle oil and then I show you the reveal shots. Um, so yeah, I really like the this set, I really love the Model Ones poly gel and again thank you Model Ones for sending me this poly gel. I really do appreciate it when companies do... Um, you know, they they give a little to me and they help me and it, it really, really does make me feel like, I don't know, it just gives me that, like, really warm feeling, do you know what I mean? That, like, like you guys enjoy my work and, and that still stands me to this day, but even companies now as well are wanting to work with me and I, I just, I'm so overwhelmed with happiness of it, like, it still doesn't feel real to me and I'm so grateful for every single one of you. I do see your comments and all that good stuff and you guys are all just absolutely bloody amazing and I couldn't I couldn't thank you enough if I tried I don't even know if I have words to describe how thankful I am for each and every single one of you um but anyway enough of the gooey stuff I will leave everything listed down below in the description box along with um videos in the cards of what I might think might help and the hauls and stuff like that along with discount codes I think I said that and the things that I used in the video but I want to say a big thank you to all of you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. I hope you're all staying safe. I hope you keep on smiling, that beautiful smile of yours. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Feeling like I need a purpose